and welcome to the Bolts On 2 Training Camp Special, streaming live on CBS News Los Angeles. There's plenty of fans here at the Chargers uh, continue their training camp to lead up to the 2022 NFL campaign. Hello again, everybody. I'm Jim Hill. There are plenty of guests that will join us across the next hour as we give you an inside look at the Chargers training camp. And one person we want to talk to right now is Chris Harry. And Chris, and when we think about this Chargers, because you're the Charger team reporter, so you know this club inside and out. This is going to be a very exciting season for them. Well, first, it's a pleasure to be with you. Day three of training camp. Yeah, yes. I tell you this, I've been covering the team in Los Angeles since they moved up here in 2017. I can say this, it's not prisoner of the moment, it's not hyperbole. This is the most anticipated season we've seen since the Chargers came up here. Starts with Justin Herbert, but Jim, everything they did this offseason to shore up the defense, mm -hmm. this is the year. Brandon Staley in year two, Justin Herbert in year three, they want to make a Super Bowl push. I know we want to talk about it with other guests that come up here, but I'd like to get your thoughts on first day of training camp, four o'clock in the morning fans are lined up to come in and see the practice and that just I think it shows you the power of what they've been doing the last couple of years and think about this over the last two years there's been turnover at perhaps the two biggest positions on the football team head coach and quarterback mm -hmm. Brandon Staley comes in nine and eight last year Justin Herbert his first year offensive rookie of the year second year 5,000 passing yards <laughs> and a pro bowl mm -hmm. year three this is a they want to make their money they want to get to the playoffs make a run and, and i think they put themselves in a position to do it now you just got to execute now and all these fans coming out here show great anticipation great enthusiasm but great expectations high expectations and, and that's the thing when you bring in a khalil mack when you bring in a J.C. Jackson, when you have a Derwin James, Justin Herbert under center, blue chip offensive linemen like Rashawn Slayer and Corey Lindsley, Zion Johnson, Austin Eckler, I can go on and on. Keenan Allen, Mike Williams. There's so many guys on this team, Jim, that can make immediate impacts in a football game. And you said it, high expectations for the Chargers in 2022. Let's talk just a little bit about the quarterback position because we all know it's the most important position on the field. But this quarterback will not claim any kind of stardom for himself well he's unflappable and he's the consummate professional and the ultimate teammate uh, he, he will deflect praise as much as, <laughs> mm -hmm. as you know it right mm -hmm. I he know will, it. he will deflect praise but he is something else uh, year three there's nobody else like him I, I don't know maybe outside of Josh Allen Patrick Mahomes mm -hmm. and a handful mm -hmm. of others who I would want for the next 10 years yes Justin Herbert's top of the list I mean but he's in a division where there's a lot of other great quarterbacks. So there's no telling. This is going to be like uh, uh, it, the, the scoreboard is just going to explode whenever these two teams play each other, these four teams play each other. Well, you said it, the Chargers have gotten better, but so has the rest of the AFC yeah. West. You mentioned the quarterbacks. Russell Wilson now in Denver. We know what Patrick Mahomes is all about. And, you know, Carr and the Raiders, who went to the playoffs last year, they loaded it up too. And the coach from last year has learned a great deal going into this year. You always learn so much after your rookie year as a head coach. That is really amazing. That is for sure. And when we think about it, well, practice has just begun, starting with the uh, Bolts uh, taking the field. I mean, they've been taking the field uh, for the first uh, two practices on Wednesday and Thursday. So what do you say? Let's hear uh, some of the uh, coaches and players and what they had to say as camp got underway. I think before we left for break, um, we were really connected on how we want this training camp to look. And I think that's the advantage of going into your second year with everybody. And I think you could tell by how today went. Uh, it's just so much crisper. There's so much more confidence in what you're doing. There's no pressure on us. You know, the only pressure that you make is, is what you make of it on yourself. And, uh, you know, I think as a team, we've, we've got the pieces. We've got the, the athletes and competitors. Um, as long as we're doing our best and, and we're asking each other what we want to do ourselves, um, you know, I, I don't think there's much more that you can ask of. It was good. We're competing. I think we're all just getting our legs under us. Second day, obviously, a little sore after day one, but just like Coach just said, it's going to go back and forth every day, and we compete, but it's all about respect and, and getting better on both sides. So we, we shake it up, and it's always great competing against some of the best guys on offense and football, so it's, it's just going to make us both better. Feels good, man, running around, um, not hurting, feeling young. I'm 30, so the game slowed down, you know. Just having fun. 
Oh, yeah. Having fun is really exactly what it's all about. That is for sure. But when we think about the charges down here and when, what's going to happen, we talk about the, the great anticipation. I'd like for you to talk once again about the great anticipation because it leads to our next guest. Yeah, well, our next guest uh, responsible for that anticipation this offseason, uh, putting together a fantastic roster, Justin Herbert at the helm, but General Manager Tom Telesco joining us. And Tom, I talked about this with you yesterday. 2017, I think this team has come a long way. Look behind us and yeah. look at so many fans. Day three of training camp. The, the GM's done his job when the stands are full, right? <laughs> that's it. That's, that's job one. Job two, Check that is, box. job two is winning a lot of games and getting the playoffs and winning a championship. But, no, the, the uh, atmosphere is great. I love training camp. Love the atmosphere here. Love the crowd. I mean, there's nothing better than coming down here from work and just seeing people lined up to get in to come watch us practice. I just love it. What does this tell you about the great expectations of your team this year when fans line up for your first practice at 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, it's, it's like, you know, we don't need any extra motivation, but it does. It, it does add to it a little bit. You know, you're, you're here to perform for them, and you're here to win for them. That, that's Our jobs aren't just to do this job and participate. Our job, and Brandon and I, we're paid to win, So, and they want to see a winning product. So, um, But just being here in Los Angeles, we know, you know, we, got, we want to win, and we have to win, but you want to entertain on the way there, and it's an entertaining team. It's yeah. a fun offense to watch. It's exciting. The defense has some stars on it to watch, so we're excited about that. So many blue chip players on this team, and two new ones, Khalil Mack and J.C. Jackson. I don't know if you could just speak to how they fit in the culture of this team and Brandon Staley's defensive scheme. Yeah, you could tell the first day right off the bat that uh, they belong. You know, here it's. it's uh, I mean, I think J.C. made a play in the very first seven-on-seven seven throw. He broke up a pass on the sideline. Um, those guys are not any true pros; they're just big-time players, and they just kind of—you you can see when they walk on the football field. So, but having those guys, it, it does raise everybody up because they hold everybody else accountable. Now we have a lot of new faces on defense, so we're going to need this full training camp to get everyone used to it. A, a lot of defense, kind of like basketball team yeah. defense, is a lot of communication amongst people, especially in the secondary the linebackers. That's what we have to get through and work on here in training camp. Let's talk about your rock star at quarterback and Justin Herbert. I mean, I walked off the field with him yesterday. And people were yelling and screaming, and it was just going like nothing I've ever seen before. Yeah, you know, part of being a franchise quarterback is handling all of that off the field. He handles it wonderfully well because um, he's got a big job to do on the field. But, you know, he's, he's you know, the quarterback. You're the face of the franchise, and he, he treats people so well. You know, he's over here signing autographs on days he doesn't have to do it, but he wants to do it. Um, and that's kind of the attitude we want with our players, that they give back to the fans that support us so much. Perhaps the heart and soul of the team, Darwin James, not practicing, but he's here. And, and I know that everybody wants to get a deal done and get him out on the field. Uh, where are we with Darwin and uh, where will you see him, number three? Yeah, I don't, I don't have an update. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, you know, you'd like to get these things done in the spring and the early summer. That, that's always the goal. But contracts of this magnitude, sometimes they bleed into training camp. Um, you know, it's just the way that it is. And with his contract, it's, you know, it's a life-altering contract for him. But it's also organizationally altering for us, just like Joey's was, just like Khalil Max is, and just like our quarterbacks will be, just as far as how we're going to build the team around those contracts, which is my job. We'll get it figured out. I'm yeah. not worried about that. But sometimes it does take some extra time with these type of contracts, but we'll get it done. We'll get it figured out. What does it tell you when every one of his teammates talks about how important he is to your club? Well, I think that's, that just shows why so badly we want to get this done, too. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple to see. Um, I mean, you, talent you can see, but the way he interacts with his teammates and, the, you know, he's the captain, the heart and soul of our football team, those are the guys you want here. Those are the guys you, you try and sign. You get, you get them done. Um, it just takes a little bit extra time, but we'll get it done. It's exciting. Yep. You better believe it. That is for sure. Tom, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me.